This is a tutorial on the optics equipment. In your optics kit, you have several components. Most are labeled, though some are not, including the pinhole plate with three sizes of pinholes, the slit plate, and the large aperture plate. You have two types of component holders. The component holder with the solid base goes directly on the optical rail. The component holder with the diamond cutout goes on the rotating base set. This is the rotating base and its platform. The rotating base simply sits on top of the platform and its component holder slides on top. Your kit also comes with a green LED and a power supply. The power adapter plugs into the power supply, as does the LED. Plug the power adapter into the wall and turn on the switch to turn on your LED. Two features of this optic system help you align your components. First, note that the component holder and the components both have notches at the top. When you mount your components, you should align these notches. Second, note the lip running all the way along the optical rail. The component holders should all be pushed firmly against this. When aligning your light source, note that the image of the light source on an index card is large, so it's hard to find the center. You can add a slit, which creates a much finer image on an index card. Note that the image here is off the center of the optical axis, so the slit, the light source, or both are out of alignment. Be sure to add your components one by one, checking alignment as you go. Make sure that the ray doesn't deviate once you've added a component, or if you're using a mirror, that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. This way you will ensure that every component is properly aligned.